sparkly uniforms, music, marching, beautiful flags, halftime shows, dancing, and competitions, or just a part of um, Color Guard. Until 1970, the Color Guard would only march, uh, run around with the US flag. Um, it was created by a lady named Pe uh, Peggy Twig, um, according to Prezi.com. Today, I'm going to go over the parts of the flag, um, the basic moves, and also the benefits of Color Guard. Let's spin into our first um, point. Uh, our first point is the basic, uh, is the parts of the flag. So at the bottom and at the top, we have the butts. Usually one in, usually the top has a weight in it. It consists of a screw. It's about, it's a long screw. I, I couldn't get any today. Um, and a washer, usually. You can find out if your flag is weighted correctly by putting your hand out flat and placing your flag in your hand and watching which way it falls. Usually the heavier end falls towards the ground if it's weighted correctly. Um, as we move up the flag, we have our silks. These usually are consistent of multiple colors like this one or just a single, single color. Um, And to put it all together, we have the pull. These keep all your things together. Let's toss into our next point. Our next point is the basic moves. Um, our first move that I learned before I even started any moves is to strip your flag. It's where you pull down the silk, make a V with your pointer and middle finger, and slip your, the silks between. This is how we do parade rest and most of anything that we do. We usually stand like this when we're talking. Our next move is angles. These consist of right angle, right slam, left slam, left angle. Um, then we have potsters, which consist of all, the, all your angles put into one. So it's pretty much just a circle, bring it down in another circle. Um, next we have drop spins. These are in most of our moves that we do when we do our flags. So it's down, your thumbs, both of your thumbs will point down. When you bring it up, both of your thumbs will point up. Then there's also advanced moves that we do, like parallels, um, helicopters, Umbrellas, rainbows, um, double time, and some other moves that I've learned. These are just a few that I've learned over the years. <sighs> Let's drop spin into the next point, or in our last point. It is the benefits of color guard. According to SHF, SHF, hs.com um, it states that students are able to work and move as a group um, you might think it's easy to be in color guard and move all together but it's not that easy um, it's harder than you think trying to get 10 to 50 people on time and on the beat at the same time um, we also make lifelong friends through competitions, and we also have a common goal and standards that we try to meet or go over. In conclusion, today we went over the parts of the flag, the basic moves, and the benefits of color guard. I hope the next time you go to a football game, you can appreciate the color guard and the band as it's harder than you think to be in color guard. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.